Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome to another git tutorial. Today we're going to cover the git ignore file. So to demonstrate the git ignore file and what it actually is used for, um, I've decided to move these tutorials forward a bit and started working with an actual IDE in the project. So we're still going to do all our git stuff through the command line, but or the git bash on Windows. Uh, well what I did was I opened up IntelliJ and I just created a simple hello world program in Java in a new folder. So exit out that we don't need that anymore but I simply create a Java project and in here we're going to create a repository and I'm going to show you how to do everything so remember git init to initialize a repository and we can see we got our .git folder on the right this folder is hidden by default anything with dot you have to shut it up or I think it's marked as hidden anyway so we're going to say git uh, or git uh, dash Oops. Git at all. I'm do a git commit. Initial commit. And as you can see, we have all our uh, files, so 12 files, 488 insertions. Insertions. Um, git remote add origin. And I'm just going to copy this little line here for my git tutorial. Uh, if I could go right click up here, edit, paste. Git bash is a bit weird on Windows. Okay, so we've got our git tutorials. All done, dusted. Uh, we've added a remote. So, let's uh, look at the problem here. IntelliJ and most IDEs do this, but as you've probably noticed, when we're doing git or when we're doing anything the only thing we really care about is our source files which are our java files this file here if we look at the rest of these files we've got this class file which is generated by java we've got our java pro all these iml files and dot name files and xml files so the dot idea folder in intellij idea is that is essentially all the information relating to the ide but this is only or this, uh, this is only relative to this version or my copy of the IDE. In other words, I don't want these files to sync with Git. I don't want I don't want the out folder to sync with Git because why would I want the out folder? It's just the classes. These are auto generated whenever you compile the project. We don't want the ID idea folders because they're all set for uh, idea. So we don't need these files. They're not they're not necessary. Java project IML. We don't need that. These are things that we don't actually need to be working with with Git. So in order to mark these files or tell Git to ignore the file, it's called a Git ignore file. So we're simply going to say touch Git ignore. And that will create a Git ignore file. Now in case you're wondering what touch does, it's just a bash command to just create a file. Uh, you could right click new file but I decided to do it there so let's actually do this the right way we'll nano this file ah can't use nano on win on git bash oh well we'll edit in notepad so we'll open up our notepad plus plus get rid of all this nonsense java files cache files blah 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 so let's figure out what we need to add to our uh, our git ignore. So the git ignore file essentially is for each line is a file you want to ignore. So we'll ignore Java project IML. IML. Uh, but uh, we want to ignore everything under the out folder. So we say out slash star. Now the star means wildcard. That essentially means everything under out should be ignored which means the out folder will still be there but everything underneath it will be ignored or well, technically it won't even be there uh, we want to ignore everything under idea so we want to say dot slash star now this java project iml will actually tell it to ignore all iml files essentially iml is just uh intellij's iml or uh, an intellij project file so will it do all that save it so let's make a little change to our source file. So we're just going to open this up in a Java or in Notepad, and we're just going to say, you know, hello new world. 
Now let's do our git add command, our git add all. Hmm, something weird is happening with git bash. Hmm, I don't like that. I'll just type it manually. And then we'll do a git commit. Just go to commit. Hmm, that's a weird thing to do. Second commit. Now if I do this, you'll notice that this will only say one new change. Two files changed. Four insertions, one deletion. That makes sense. We changed the git ignore file. The git ignore file, by the way, is done. So that's, you know, there we go. So what the git ignore file has done, essentially, is it's telling git, don't bother syncing these files. So if we push this to a remote, so we say git push. Uh, origin and then put in my password oh god damn it I'm always making that mistake git push master oh it's git push origin master isn't it I'm mixing up my freaking words Okay, git bash seems to have uh, derped. So we'll just do manually through here. So it's been pushed up. So let's take a look at our files on git or on bitbucket. As you can see, the folders are there. Okay, that, that's a little strange now. Those files shouldn't be committed at all. I don't understand why that's happening. Give me a sec, I figured it out. So I figured out that issue. Um, essentially, the files are being tracked because we never told git to, uh, or we, we committed before we added the git ignore. This is a common issue. I somehow forgot to think this. We need, just need to tell to git remove dash cached and Just need to remove uh, anything under the idea folder. So we're just telling them to remove. Now what git remove dash cache does is it removes it from inside the git folder. Essentially it's um, git kind of takes like, you know, caches files a lot. We need to just tell it not to uh, do these files. So we just say out. and the uh, Java project, or yeah, star IML. So now we've removed all these files, and then if we do uh, git all git commit dash m for message, Somehow I managed to put three M's in. There we go. So we just deleted all the uh, old, all the crap files that we don't want, essentially. And we're just going to do our git push. Okay, now if we look on Bitbucket, you can see we only have our source folder with our Java, our git ignore, and the .fd folder is still there. Dot name wasn't added for some reason. Uh, don't know why it didn't do that, so we'll, we can fix that in our own time. But essentially, all it's done now is actually let's have a look in here. 
It's just the name of the project for idea. But that folder there needs to be removed as well. So we'll just remove uh, star name. So I'll remove that file. Add our files. Name. Do our push. Now if we refresh this, we shouldn't see a name file. There we go. So the git source, all we have is our source folder and a git ignore, which are the only things we want actually synced. So all the local stuff relative to the project are gone. And now we have a clean copy with a git ignore. So anyway guys, that's the kind of the git ignore file. Got a little bit messy there in the middle. I couldn't figure out some of the commands directly off the top of my head there. But that's essentially the git ignore file. And uh, next video we're going to talk about cloning.